So the next match on court on quarterfinals day here at the 100th All England Championships. The number one player in the world, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, up against the qualifier from Korea, Sean Wan Ho. So the players on court in the white tracksuit is Lee Chong Wei, the world number one. He's been world number one since his defeat in the Olympic Games in Beijing. Now, if that sounds a bit odd that he's been world number one since a loss, well, I can tell you that overall he really has been so consistent. Seven titles last year, nine finals in total. Well, that's why he is world number one. He started this year two Super Series events and two Super Series titles. Won both the Korean Open, beating Peter Gaeta in the final, and then the Malaysian Open, where he beat Boon Sak Sana. Well, as far as the Malaysian is concerned, Chaitan Anand from India in the first round, that was pretty convincing. But really, my attention is drawn to that second-round victory against Sonny Dwi Kunchoro of Indonesia. Of course, Kunchoro was the 2004 Olympic bronze medalist. He was silver medalist at the World Championships in 2007. And he disposed of him 21-11, 21-17. It was a very, very impressive performance. So, as far as the qualifier is concerned, two qualifying matches. He went the full distance in both of those. I can tell you, in the opening round against Hans Christian Wingenhaas of Denmark, saved two match points. In the second round, he played the number two seed of the qualifying, Wacha of Poland. As you can see, three games there. First round of the main draw, Chan Yan Kit of Hong Kong. And then last night against Chen Long, the former world junior champion from China, an hour and 16 minutes, winning through 21-19 in that deciding game. Well, he's had a tough tournament so far. I think we can safely say that. Sean Wan Ho, there he is, 21 years of age. This is his fifth match in four days. First ever Super Series quarterfinal appearance. Last year, he was runner-up at the Osaka International. But this man, Lee Chong Wei, should I say Datuk Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia, reached the final of the All England Championships last year. Lost out to Lin Dan, and I can tell you that the big news from one of the adjoining courts is that Lin Dan has been beaten in his quarter-final match against his teammate, Bao Chun Lai. The battle of the left-handers there on many the adjoining players, court. And a huge, huge surprise to many people, the world and Olympic champion, Lin Dan, defeated. So, no doubt, Li Chong Wei will have been aware of that and perhaps giving him even more inspiration because Lin Dan has been a bit of a, a bogey player for him to play against and, and therefore now that he knows that the one player that he's really feared is out of contention, he's out of the tournament, perhaps Li Chong Wei will gain even more in confidence. Well, Lots of strapping on legs and arms. Wang Xinya. Arampar. Phil James, the service judge. So the young Korean. Oh. What a moment for him, his first two Super Series events of the year. Lost in the first round of his home tournament, the Korean Open, and then lost in the qualifying of the Malaysian. Here he is in the most important Super Series event of all, and Ladies he's in and the quarterfinal.
On my right, Sean Wen Ho, Korea. So the qualifier from Korea, Sean Wan Ho, nearest to us in the yellow shirt, up against the world number one, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. Service over. The Malaysian. One love. Two Ooh. rounds, very convincing. First two matches, an hour and five minutes in total. As far as the Korean, well, he's playing his fifth match in four days. And his four previous matches have all gone to three games. He's been on court for just three minutes shy of four hours. Now, surely. I know the Koreans are fit. Their fitness levels of the badminton players are just awesome. But surely that must be taking its toll coming into this match. If for any player playing against a world number one, you have got to be on top form. And if you're a little bit heavy in the legs, it's going to have a big effect. Surely. You would expect so, yes, but it must be quite inspiring for this young boy to be in the quarterfinal of the All England. It'll be interesting to see whether he acts. He might, he might struggle a little bit. He's got a lot of excuses. He's played a lot of matches, but on the other hand, he could be inspired by the Service environment. Over. This is the biggest tournament in the world, and uh, let's see what he can do. Yeah, now I'm, I know that you and I chatting before all the quarterfinals got underway, and you were saying that you've, you've been watching this young lad from Korea quite a bit in the last couple of years, and. Um, just just tell us a little bit about his qualities then or what areas of his game you think that need working on he plays a very typical Two, uh, korean three. style game he's very very solid very very good defense good physical levels um not not a very explosive attack i would say as, as a lot of the korean players but in defense as we can see there very very agile in defense but he's a player that the Koreans have been talking about for three or four years now. Had a good good junior career, and I've seen him play a few times in the Korean Super Series qualifying, and he's really quite impressive. Oh, oh good. It, it's incredible to me because, I mean, I think Korea managed to, to somehow produce these good players time and time again. You know, I'm thinking about the winner of the uh, East Asian Games in Hong Kong in December. Comes out and wins a gold medal. His first ever international tournament. A young lad called Choi Ho Jin, left-hander, beats Lin Dan, the reigning world and Olympic champion, in the final of the East Asian Games. Where are these players coming from? Suddenly, without the experience of playing lots of tournaments, they're managing to win big matches in big tournaments. I think it, it, that's that's the mentality of the Koreans. Korea are a country that like to do a lot, a lot of preparation with their young players rather than send them to a lot of tournaments. They like to train them. They like to make sure that they're in very, very good condition, and they've attained a certain level before they give them they give them the big trips and the the travel and the the glossier side of the game, shall we say? They like them to have the bread and butter first. Good solid, good solid base technically, good solid base physically before they send them out. 257. Oh. 160 oh. miles per hour. Six, four. And already we're seeing a good example of Sean's mentality here. First two or three points, Chong way away quickly, a couple of winning shots, but Sean keeping the shuttle on the court, keeping working, picking up one or two cheap points and suddenly he's, he's in the game. Fault. Fault called. Service over. Think Five, probably six. for taking the shot and before he had crossed over the net. Oh, maybe for hitting the net, not sure. And we've talked about the young Korean. What about the Malaysian? To me, he's Seven, one of the finest five. athletes in the sport. He's so fast around the court, 
but I think he's got a new dimension to his game 